We've never hunted for a certain goose species on this map, and we're talking about the magpie goose. Well, yesterday we spotted something that really sparked my interest. So today, we're going to be trying to get some. Well, we are absolutely surrounded by magpie geese here. It looks like we literally have about 15 of them circling above us here. And what I'm hoping for is that eventually they're going to land right in front of us. So we can get our first magpie goose. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Wait, wait, wait. Do we even have the right ammunition in here? I don't know if we do or not. I don't think we did. I think we legitly had slugs in that thing. That would have been so bad. Oh, but look at that. They're landing perfectly. All right, time to take some of these down. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We got a couple, not the greatest, but uh, you know, we're still getting used to this thing. Oh my God, that was awesome. This one here, it looked big, so I took him first and we dusted him, but the following one, I was hoping we'd get two or three and we only got one, so. It looks like it wasn't even that big of one, but it was a male, 37 yards, and a couple BBs did take him down. I don't even know what this one was. Looks like another male, 29 yards. All right, so we're gonna have to start spotting them when they're in the air here, because as you can see, when you're in, oh my God, look at this. When you're in a layout blind like this, you can't spot them when they are landed in front of you. Holy, the amount of magpie geese is unbelievable. I mean, I feel like I, I'm starting to like hunting these more than even the Canadian geese or the gray leg geese. There's way more and they're actually coming in pretty consistently. But again, the reason that we're out here and we're hunting for the magpie geese is because we were over there yesterday and we spotted a dime potential magpie goose. So I really got hooked after that and I said it to you guys that we're going to officially start to hunt for the magpie geese so we can get that diamond goose. That is our goal. But the geese are coming in right now, so let's get ready. Here we go. And that one landed perfectly, right on the decoys. In fact, all three of them did. Woohoo! Tripled up! Nice! Nice, nice, nice! Wow. That's how you do it. Alright, so from now on, we're going to keep the red dot off because at that distance there, we really don't need it. I mean, you're talking 20 yards out. Ooh, we could maybe get this goose here. Uh, not quite. Well, let's collect some of these geese while we're waiting for some more to come in. And, oh, I was going to say, where did they all go? But they're literally blended in right here. One, two, three, and four of them so, so far we are definitely not getting any decent ones just yet in fact those are all pretty small check this out if they flare oh my god there's so many of them All right, well, in this case here, we're gonna lay prone and get ready because once they land, they're gonna be right on our heads. And they're probably not gonna stick around for too long. All right, looks pretty clear to me. And here we go. Whoa, what? Oh, what a rip! Oh, we hit the water. What a major, major rip that was right there. Unbelievable. Oh, here we go. Two coming right down the pipe. Two coming right down the pipe. Looks like two female. Make that six because we got a bunch more over there. And why are these things alarmed? 
That's an interesting question. Okay. Woo! We're hitting them hard. We're hitting them real hard. We got both of them hit, but they're actually still sailing out there quite a ways. All right, is it gonna go down though? Yeah, it looks like we're down to 50% on that one there. So that one's for surely gonna go down. But what about this one? That one's at 50% as well. So these two might both go down way the heck out there and eventually float back to us. Tell you what, let's see if we can watch them fall from way the heck out there. Probably not because maybe they even popped out of render. So let's try and get as many as we can this time and focus on actually picking out these geese individually. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, maybe not so perfect because they're kind of landing a good ways out there. All right. Let's see if these come closer. Not really. Wow, they're super far out there. Well, I suppose we could definitely try and double up here. I'd say we did all right. Although, why am I only seeing two of them piled up here? Did we not get one at that fir on that first shot there? Oh! We did, but he did not go down. Down to 25%. Well, let's watch him. He should for surely pile up. We did try for a double. And we ended up only getting a decent hit on this one. Huh. All right. Well, we did get two. We have yet to even get a gold magpie goose. However, our goal is to get them to land close as possible to us. Oh, we're right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we're empty! Come on! Get him! Right there! Right there! Right there! Oh, son of a... So many small mail. Oh, we got four more circling right above the top of us here. And they're getting pretty low. Not quite low enough just yet. Well, we could for surely get one. But we want to get at least two, maybe potentially three. All right, he should be cupping up right here. Here we go, here we go. He's locked right up, coming in. What? Why are they landing like freaking 80 yards out there? Oh, unbelievable. Well, we threw a couple into that one and we did get one, but I do believe we probably hit another one pretty good as well. Yeah, that thing just freaking soared right out of the sky. Make that three! Woo! Now that's what we got to do. We got to triple up just like that every time. I mean, after all, we do have a semi-automatic shotgun, so why not take advantage of that, right? And they're going to float right over to us here. So it looks 68 yards right to the neck. Another level three. 70 yard shot right there, Magpie Goose. Took it down. 
All right, so we had a little bit of a predicament here and the geese kind of stopped coming in. So what we did is we actually changed the time back to the next day. Now we're out here again and we moved our layout blind a little bit closer to the edge of the water here. So at this point, we're finally officially set up. Now when they come in, hopefully we can make it count. And also, I'm thinking that maybe us calling too much is making them a little bit spookish. So we're going to try and not call at all this time and see what happens. Ooh, I'm so tempted to go for a triple right there. So tempted. But I'm not going to. And it actually turned out to be a pretty good thing because they're going to land right next to us here. Still a little bit further out than where they were before, but then again, this happened last time and we still did get a couple. Oh, -ho -ho! oh wow, we got four of them laying there or maybe three. Either way, that's still a ton of geese stacked up from that one flock we did get four i just saw one pile up right there make that five we got five out of that one flock holy okay two just piled up way the heck over there you can see one right there on that shoreline and the other one just piled up just on the back side of those trees right there so that means we got five out of that one flock we got some crocs out there swimming as well look at that I'm probably going to freak out, honestly, if we do find that dime potential magpie goose. But nonetheless, we got a pile of geese out here. A pile of them. So the caller didn't seem to really bring them too much closer, or at least without calling. That means we're going to try and call this time one more time here and see if they can get a little bit closer. Well, now they're even further out which is honestly not even in range. So we're gonna have to hope that this flock comes in closer. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, why are they landing so far away? Man, that is a ton of geese out there though. And I mean a ton of geese. They're a good 80 yards out there. Uh, hopefully we got one. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. I am not seeing anything fall out of the sky, which is not too promising so far. 50% health. Okay, so we got a couple of hit there. 25%, that one should be falling out any second. We've been sitting here for at least an hour now. And we shot these geese in the very beginning of this hunt. They are now officially finally floating in. These things soared at least a mile and a half away from us. But now they're finally coming in. And we also have a couple of geese approaching us here. Three female geese. Oh, make that uh, about 15. <laughs> we got a bit more that just came in here. Come on, at least find another four. Holy, look at all these geese. Well, we'll see if they swim this way a little bit closer. I mean, according to that, they're about 60 yards out from us here.
We did get one, I believe. Nope, we got two. I'll take it. Okay, but as I was saying before, these geese finally floated in here. So we're gonna go check them out right now. They were a long ways out there. 84 yards, this here is the triple when they all flew in and landed 80 yards from us. And there's another one, 91 yards. And 82 yards, and we did get a goal, finally, yes! 3.43 gold. And he's barely a gold, but that's a gold. Magpie Goose, and our first one, officially. Of course, the one time I stop recording and all these geese literally land 20 feet away from us here. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. We still definitely cleaned up on those things. Wow. I'd say we might have gotten three or four out of that flock right there. They landed absolutely perfectly. Well, let's go take a look. Holy, they're dusted everywhere. We got one piled up there. Two, three, four, five. There is no way we just got five geese out of that flock. Look at this. We got one, two, three, four, right here. 25 yards, perfect neck shot. 23 yards, perfect head shot. 60 yards, so this is one that was actually in the air. This one I don't think is one of the ones that was here. I think this one just floated in, but 21 yards. And that was a perfect neck shot as well. So we did get four geese right there. 22 yards. That was the one that just flew over there. So there was five here, but we ended up getting four out of that flock, which is still an absolute ton of geese from one flock. All right, we got one last flock here. In fact, we have one coming in perfectly. They have the weirdest animation. Like, I can't even explain it to you. You just have to see it for yourself. The goose literally freezes up 100% and then continues on flying after that. But uh, yeah, he's gonna go down and that's gonna be that. Oh, I'm not passing this one up, I'll tell you that. Got him hit twice. And that will take him down as well. Wow, are these things tough. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. We didn't get the diamond magpie goose that we wanted, but we'll be back here again in the future to hopefully spot him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time.